Um, well, one of the reasons why I wanted to do The Sound of Music is because I grew up on it. Uh, I remember sitting down with my, my family and watching it on television. This was pre-VCR, pre-DVD, yeah. and we would, it would come on once a year, and we'd all sit down and watch it. And um, I remember the music more than anything else, and I think that's what anybody who's ever seen The Sound of Music would, or heard The Sound of Music would, would remember as the music. What I think it should mean to maybe younger audiences today is, um, and why I think it's important for them to see it is, it's classic musical theater. It's probably the most famous, well-received um, classic musical, and we're aware of it through the film. So I think that's how everyone uh, remembers it. Luckily, I got the right people that auditioned. I think the people that auditioned and were cast in the parts that they were cast were perfect, were, were better than I could hope for. Josie Mitchell as Maria is, is a director's dream. Yeah. Um, Danny Lopez as the captain, perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more. The thing I was worried about were the children. But when we had the auditions for the children and we picked the ones we picked, I felt much better because I knew that they could do what we wanted them to do. I mean, the star, let's face it, the star of the musical is the music itself. Yes. I mean, you can't go wrong with Rodgers and Hammerstein. You can't. You are 16, going on 17. Fellas will fall in line. Eager young lads and brewers and cats will offer you food and wine. Totally unprepared are you to fix a world of men. Where are you of things beyond your care? You meet someone older and wiser telling you what to do. I am 17 growing on. So you kind of have to, you know, just work with whoever's there. And um, I think this show kind of had a good. Um, meld of people that auditions. I uh, auditioned for the show, like Doris, this is her first show here, who's playing the Baroness, and I think she's fantastic. Kasi, I actually kind of, during the last show, was like, Kasi, are you going to audition for Sound of Music? Because I was thinking he'd make a great mix. So. We wanted strong voices. That's how we cast the nuns. Yeah. Uh, I said, Pat, uh, we'll cast the Mother Superior and the two main nuns. After that, you get to pick who you want as a nun because we need to have those strong voices so that they, they can sing the nuns' music. And the nuns' music in The Sound of Music is the most difficult music in the show. Pat Sweeney, who's fantastic as the uh, Mother Abbess, has been performing for 40 years. And you can see that. And I learned everything that I know working at this theater. So, working here at the dinner theater, you get to learn a little bit about everything. A little bit yeah. about lighting, a little bit about sets, a little bit about costumes, a little about everything. And I think that's important. Hopefully, the actors and performers will continue to perform the show that has been rehearsed. And each audience will get a professional, quality, good show. 
that you have to hope for.